Welcome back. So we're talking about machine learning, models from data, and I want to talk a little bit about where neural networks and artificial intelligence fit into this because there's all of these different kind of words and phrases for, uh, for machine learning. So again, n neural networks are super important. We use them all the time. They're a lot of the technology that is used in your daily life, uh, like Alexa or Siri or um, Google Images and Facebook, they are built on kind of neural network architectures for, for their, uh, their technology. But I do want to emphasize that neural networks are really kind of a subset, uh, not an equal subset, but a really a subset of machine learning. Okay, so they're an important part of the larger family of machine learning. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is artificial intelligence. So you'll hear this um, all the time now, artificial intelligence, um, uh, AI. And I think this is very fuzzy, kind of murky. So machine learning is pretty well defined nowadays. Neural networks, you know, we, I'll give you a few lectures in a series on, on what neural networks are. I can explain what they are to you. Artificial intelligence is a little bit more nebulous. Um, I mean, generally speaking, it's this, this idea that what we want is a collection of algorithms and experience and data, an expert system uh, that can ask its own questions, gather its own data, decide on the architecture for learning, um, really do some of the things that biological systems can do. So, um, you know, a, a cat and a dog are fundamentally curious and they go and explore and they learn on their own. And they have a framework, but it's kind of an overarching framework where they can, you know, learn how to learn better uh, over time. And so that's very cool. And there's lots of interesting uh, applications of artificial intelligence. And it hopes, I think, uh, to get towards some of these aspects of more generalizability or, you know, kind of m more uh, uh, higher hierarchies of models and models of models and, and things like that. But I also want to point out um, that at least in, uh, well, I think in, in lots of fields and in, in both popular and technical fields, uh, there's what I'll, I'll call a lot of ballooning statements, uh, a lot of ballooning statements about, about AI. So people are, are using this um, word, this buzzword, to be a catch-all for everything they're going to do to solve world hunger and, um, you know, everything in the world is going to be solved because of artificial intelligence. And I think there's a lot of ballooning statements, these kind of uh, ballooned statements that people make uh, about how big artificial intelligence is and how close we are and what the capabilities are. Um, and I'll just give you some examples, um, you know, or, or some, some anecdotes. So most machine learning algorithms that we're talking about, most of these, these architectures where you can build models from data, they have uh, parameters, hyperparameters that you have to tune how fast you train them, how many degrees of freedom, uh, things like that. There's hyperparameters um, in a neural network, how many layers and how many nodes. And there is still kind of this overarching process when you train these models of tuning those hyperparameters until, until they work uh, better. Okay? And usually that is a human-guided process. An expert human changes the architecture and tweaks those hyperparameters. Um, and I mean, there are certainly efforts to, to make that automatic and to have kind of a meta learning theory where you can have machines teaching other machines based on what they've learned. So this is happening. But I will be honest in, in my estimation, or at least where we are right now, there's still a huge gap between kind of the human guided expertise uh, and, and even remotely what we can do in, in artificial intelligence. Okay, so I don't want to be too pessimistic. Uh, pessimistic, I think there is a tremendous amount of potential for expert systems, for systems that can learn to learn and that can explain themselves and that can go be curious and gather new data to answer questions. I think that is uh, a very noble and interesting research effort, but we are, uh, there, really there's a chasm between where we're at now and that goal. That doesn't mean we should work towards it, but I really do think you should be cautious uh, of what I'm gonna call ballooning statements, people that, that overinflate kind of uh, what they're doing by just using a buzzword that sounds really, really cool, okay? Um, I mean, I don't know, I've heard commercials uh, of 
exercise machines that are going to use artificial intelligence to tailor your workout. That sounds like a ballooning statement to me. I mean, I think they are probably doing cool machine learning and optimizing models from data with regression and maybe they cluster or classify people and you know, stuff like that. But I, I would say that's probably a far cry from, uh, from artificial intelligence, okay? So the theory of learning, uh, the theory of intelligent systems, how does uh, one question and, and, and gather data to answer questions? I mean, that is very interesting. But let's not forget most biological, all biological learning systems that, that we know of, birds and, and humans and dogs and cats, they are not just fed information. They have bodies and they live in the world and they go explore and they gather information. They live in groups where they, information is passed down and there is feedback. There's feedback at so many levels between the world and the learner in biological systems. And I think if we're ever gonna get to real artificial intelligence, we're gonna have to build in those aspects. So I think a lot of the best work is, is in robotics, for example, because those robotic systems actually can be curious and they can actually go uh, and explore the world and, and they have kind of bodies that they can go and get that feedback. So I think there is real great work here, but just be on the lookout for uh, ballooning statements. Okay, thank you.